Hey guys, Dr. Ood and T here coming to you from Friends of a Kind Media Productions and we're going to just do a different kind of video right now. We're going to talk about the coronavirus. <clears throat> no. We're going to talk about the coronavirus and the effect it's been having on the community um, here in North Carolina. Uh, we're not going to tell you, mention the county or the city we live in, but if you know us, you know, you know where we live. Um, so, the the restaurants. Yeah, what was it like the other day? It was like, yesterday. Yeah, two yesterday ago. at five p.m. Governor Roy Cooper has declared that any sort of dine-in restaurants you are not allowed to dine in unless you're not allowed to eat there unless it's a takeout where you call in the order and then come get it, drive-through or delivery. Those yeah. are the only going out to eat options you have. But if you want to sit down and eat. Nope. Yeah. Can't do it. Dining restaurants be closed. And bars as well. Um, oh, yeah, bars. It was on St. Patrick's Day as well. Yeah, on St. Patrick's Day too. So, yeah. if anybody want to get um, drunk for St. Patrick's Day, well, too damn bad. And that's the bar's busiest day of the year. Yeah, so. You know, and all the bars are closed down and everyone's counting on this one day. A lot of uh, owners, bar owners, are counting on this one day for a lot of their annual income. Yeah, they've been waiting for this sort of day. This is like the day where they make the most yeah. money. They they look forward to it, and then all of a sudden they're told they can't operate. Business owners, restaurant, down, down in, sit down restaurant owners. Um, the one I work at got closed down until further notice. Um, that was the owners. But the, it's just in its best interest yeah. with labor and utility bills and the lease for the building. Because people are too scared to come out. Yeah, people are too scared to come out, and it just wouldn't be no. worth it for him to keep the restaurant open. But I do uh, urge you guys. Stable. Yeah. I do urge you guys if you do only work in a dining restaurant, I do urge you guys to go down to your local unemployment office if they're open. If not, go online and do fill out a um, unemployment sheet. They have um, changed the rules for now, where you can reap the benefits of unemployment. While uh, these sort of restaurants close down, um, you can email them um, your local your local ones. Um, if we can find the link, we'll put it in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it's and guys, please, if you have any local businesses where you live, please shop local because this whole coronavirus outbreak, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. It's got everybody afraid to go out in public, and a lot of local businesses are not going to survive this and are going to have to shut down. So if you have the chance, please, I emphasize, please shop local as much as possible. Yeah, and um, the grocery stores are out of toilet paper. Um, there's not a toilet paper shortage. It's just people hoarding it. Well, I've seen like this post on Facebook where someone bought all the toilet paper and was selling it for five bucks a roll. Oh. I don't know who she is, but if, if she's watching it, she knows who she is. Shame on you for price gouging like that. As far as I know, the power companies are suspending bills as of next month, I believe. Uh, so. If you if you are up to date on your bills, on your power bill, they will keep your power on um, while you are unable to work or quarantined. Um, the rent and eviction ones, I know in Forsyth County, the sheriff is trying to stop the evictions because of the virus. Um, I haven't heard anything about the county we live in. Um, but that's down to our, our local sheriff. Yeah, there isn't going, they ain't talking about a quarantine yet, like a mandatory quarantine. The president didn't say nothing about that the other day. But he did urge people to um, stay away from groups of 10 or more people. And also, guys, if you're out and about, please do be careful about uh, money that you handle, because this is, that's how, more, more, more than likely how a 
virus that spreads is through money. Um, with the delivery as well, I'm not sure that really makes sense. Yeah, because unless it's no contact delivery where you just set the food down and then they grab it out of the bag. I mean, even with cash, you would. My store manager, he actually said to wash your hands after each delivery. Yeah. Um, so after handling any sort of cash or such, please wash your hands. Or you can always wear gloves. There's probably going to be a shortage of uh, gloves. Any sort of um, yeah. medical supplies like masks, gloves. Yeah. I didn't want to take the whole thing seriously, but the whole thing, when it gets to affecting yourself, your your household and your livelihood. You have no choice but yeah. to. And a lot has happened in two weeks, guys. A whole lot has happened in these past two weeks. Yeah. It almost doesn't feel like it's been within the span of that long. It feels like it's been longer, but so much has happened, so much change because of this virus. As you've probably seen, we did go to some local stores to try and get some groceries. We got bits and bobs. We're we're good for a, a good if if we do get quarantined, we're good. We got a lot of Yeah we can we can last. Um, so you guys don't need to worry about us if they do quarantine us. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll still be making content in here. But yeah I do urge you guys if you can if it does get to a point if you do want to start to stock up on, on food and stuff, ramen noodles are good. Uh, I don't know that's, the, that's actually the one thing I've noticed at grocery yeah. stores that has not been cleaned up yeah. is ramen noodles. Really? Yeah. I actually went to a food line today yeah. and they got plenty of ramen noodles guys. So if your local grocery store has ramen noodles, I know you may get tired of eating them, but whatever it takes to survive yeah. and keep yourself healthy. Uh. Also, Not very healthy, but fed at least, because last to check, ramen noodles don't have an expiry date. Yeah. And so canned soup as well. Uh, yes, canned goods. Canned uh, goods. Tomato soup is always good. It doesn't go bad, at least for a couple of years. Well, this ain't going to be a year yeah. long quarantine either. Uh, and it's good. It heats you up. It, it gives you energy. It's and keep it's and cheerful. It's overall good for yeah. it. Yeah, it's cheap and cheerful, and you know, chicken noodle soup, any kind of soup really. Yeah. It's cheap, cheerful, keeps you built, keep, keeps your belly full. And smokers out there, you you smokers, don't buy cigarettes in the in the packets. If you know how to roll, get some tobacco. It is sold with some rolling papers. And if you don't know how to roll, then I'm going to make a video. We'll on make how a to roll video cigarettes. on how to roll yeah. your own cigarettes. Yeah, how to survive this coronavirus. <laughs> How the smoker survives. <laughs> but no, back on a, a more serious note, guys. Um, please do be careful um, wherever you are. Uh, please let us know that you're okay. Let us know in the comments below what's going on in your community. Yeah, we want to know what's going on in yeah. your community and if you're safe, if you got everything you need. Yeah. We want to make sure you guys are safe, you know? You spend your time watching our videos, you know, we do care about you guys and we do appreciate you guys subscribing and watching our videos. Um, if you're watching the videos and you like the content, please do subscribe. And hit the like button if you, if you enjoy it. Let us know what you, what you like, what you don't like about that it. That way more people can enjoy our content when they search for those related topics. Yeah. Anyways guys, um, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, please do be safe guys. and. Always try to be nice, never fail to be kind to each other.